Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Dave, an incoming second year medical student here in the Philippines. So for today's video, a lot of you are asking me to give tips for the incoming medical students this upcoming academic year 2020-2021. So this video, I will just simply give you my tips and how to survive nga ba yung first year mo sa medical school, lalo na ngayon na online classes tayo. Without further ado, let's start! So my first tip is you should ask yourself, why are you entering medicine? Yes, it is an important question to ask yourself kasi medicine is really hard. Even ask yung mga friends mo na nagme-medicine na or even the doctors. Right now, mga doctors mo or doctor friends or family doctors, ask them that medicine is really hard. And you should ask yourself, bago ka pumasok ng medicine, why are you entering medicine? Maraming beses na magda-doubt ka. Maraming beses na susuko ka. Pero, you need to have an answer to that question. Kasi yun yung babalik-balikan mo. Bakit nga ba ako pumasok ng medisina? Pwede naman ako magtrabaho na. I already have my degree. Pero, why do I choose to enter medicine? Based on my experience, kahit nung first day, na-feel ko na yung inferiority complex na hindi ako belong dito. Sino nga ba akong math kid? napapasok ng medicine. Majority ng mga blockmates ko, mga medtech, bio, nursing, pharma. So, lahat sila yung typical health allied na makikita mo sa medicine. So, syempre, meron na sila advantages. Tapos, ano, ano yung ma-offer ko? Siguro, yung sagot ko na lang sa question na why are you entering medicine? Yung pinangahawahan ko para araw-araw akong lumalaban sa medicine. And, well, it keeps me going. So my next tip is do your own research. Do your own research when it comes sa school na papasukan mo or your target school. Paano sila nagtuturo? Gano kadami yung students nila? What are the scholarships being offered? What are the activities being offered sa mga students? Or baka meron pa silang extra activities to help the students boost their morale or to help them survive in their medical school. You can also ask your seniors regarding ano ba yung mga dapat i-expect, ano ba yung mga dapat dalhin, ano ba yung mga kailangan para ma-survive nga ba yung medical school. Siyempre, kasi iba pa rin yung kapag meron ka ng first-hand experience sa medicine. Wala namang masama magtanong sa mga seniors mo because I know they will really help you guys or they will guide you para ma-survive mo yung medical school mo. Kasi dumaan din naman kami dyan. Kami rin naman yan before. Kami rin yan last year. Kami yung mga walang alam, kami yung mga walang idea sa pinapasok namin. And we ask. That's why they help us and now we're just returning the favor. Lalo na kapag meron ka ng school na papasukan, look for seniors na pwede mong mapagtanungan na mga kailangan. Kasi this in YouTube, yes, maraming mga content creators na medical students, pero iba-iba kasi ng system per school. So, limbawa, sa akin, may may bibigay ako sa inyo na baka wala sa iba. Meron kami sa CEU na baka wala sa iba. Meron yung ibang school na wala sa CEU. So, better ask yung may first-hand experience talaga. Lalo na sa inyong school na papasukan. Number three is make studying your habit. Bakit? Kasi in medical school, madaming information na kailangan ma-retain and maraming information na kailangan nyong aralin. And if studying is not really your habit, may hihirapan ka. Dadami yung backlogs mo and then by the end of the year, may hihirapan kang mag-cope sa mga information na kailangan mong aralin or mga kailangan mong habuling requirement. So I suggest make it a point na you should study at least 2 to 4 hours a day and you can start right now. While summer, lalo na wala tayong mga ginagawa ngayon and we're just preparing for the upcoming medical school lalo na kapag sure na sure ka na sa papasukan mo because you already did your research. Now, may sagot ka na sa mga kailangan mong paganda ang topics or mga subjects na may encounter mo pagpasok mo ng medical school. So, four is experiment on your learning style. Iba-iba tayo ng learning style. Merong ibang visual, merong ibang tactile, merong ibang audio. Ganun sila mag-aral. Now, you should experiment on how will you study for medicine. Iba yung studying habits mo ng undergrad, iba rin sa medicine. As early as now, I suggest you should explore. Alamin mo kung ano nga ba talaga yung best fit para sa'yo. In the first part, pwedeng ito yung mag-fit sa'yo, pero later on, hindi na siya mag-fit sa'yo. It's fine. Wala namang best fit talaga na forever when it comes to study habit. So, personally, nag-try ako before ng pen and paper. Naubusan lang din ako ng oras kasi sa sobrang bilis ng discussion namin. So, I tried digital notes, 
pero hindi rin siya nag-work sa akin kasi parang dumoble lang yung trabaho ko. Nag-best fit sa akin is I study in advance and then I make a transcription out of the lecture that will be tackled for tomorrow or for next week. Nakapag-advance na ako, I made my own notes and then pagdating ko ng klase, at least I already have a gist on ano yung pag-uusapan and I can just jot down any information na na-miss ko sa self-review ko or sa self-preparation ko for that specific topic. Number five is organize your files. This is not just for your tactile files like your papers, books, pens, notebooks, but use this also sa inyong mga laptops and your digital devices. Make use your Google Drive properly. Google Drive gives you an unlimited access, lalo na if your school is subscribed sa G Suite. Make use of your Google Drive because it has an unlimited storage so you can use folders, subfolders para maayos yung retrieval mo ng mga files. By the end of the year, hindi ka mahihirapan pag maghahanap ka na ng mga files na kailangan mo. Plus, it will save you space sa laptop mo. Lalo na marami, sobrang daming files na kailangan sa medical school because you have your PDFs ng book, you have your notes, you have your video lectures, you have your PowerPoints, you have your papers, you have your reports, and so many more files na kakailanganin. So, make use of your Google Drive para sa huli hindi ka mag-regret. Six is find your study place. Lalo na ngayong online classes tayo, mahirap, yes, oo, mahirap mag-aral sa bahay natin because most of the households are not really conducive for learning. Inaamin ko, itong condo unit namin is just a small condo unit. So, this is my study place. Even though it's super small, I trained my mind na pag umupo ko dito, this is study time and my bed is far away from me. Dito, napapractice mo na yung brain mo na it's game time. Na dito, pag umupo tayo dito, mag-aaral tayo. Because dahil din sa pandemic, hindi rin tayo makalabas for study outs like coffee shops, libraries, or mga bahay ng mga classmate mo, or mga co-working sites. So make the most out of your house or make the most out of your place right now kung nasan ka or kung saan plan mo magstay for your medical school. Number seven is find friends that will motivate you. Yes, importante to. Dahil nga mahirap ang medicine, mahirap din kapag mag-isa ka. No man is an island lalo na sa medicine dahil marami kang instances na makikipag-collaborate ka sa ibang medical students or mga subsex or iba-ibang mga ka-classmate mo. That's why you should practice collaboration with others. Best way to do so is find good set of friends that will really motivate you, lalo na kapag medyo nagda-doubt ka na sa sarili mo. Personally, I have my friends na minsan nagbe-video call kami and we ask random questions regarding the certain topic. This help us review and para ma-motivate kami dahil sila, nag-aaral sila. So yun, natitest din ako na yung friend ko may mga information na alam and ako hindi ko pa alam yung information na yun. So I need to brush up on that certain topic. Number eight, learn to budget your mom. Money. Yes, nasa bahay tayo, quarantine, lalo na ngayon online classes. I know, wala tayong baon. Pero medical school is really heavy sa pocket. So you should know how to budget your money because marami kang books na bibilin, marami kang papers na ipiprint. As much as possible, really do learn to budget your money kasi may mga instances na, ay, kailangan palang bumili ng ganitong equipment tapos wala ako ngayon. So mahihirapan ka din by the end of the day. Another tip is hindi mo required bumili ng mga books. So I will leave my Google Drive down in the description below on the books that you might need for your first year in medical school para rin malesen yung expenses mo ngayong medical school. Lalo na ngayon na mahirap na lumabas and to find books. Nine is do activities outside medical school. Medical school, nakakapagod siya. Emotionally draining and physically draining siya. Emotionally draining kasi minsan, feeling mo hindi mo deserve, feeling mo babagsak ka na, feeling mo hindi para sa'yo, pero kailangan mo lumaban. And physically draining siya kasi, yes, totoo ang sleepless night. Unless, Sobrang talino mo that you can memorize information with just one reading. That's good for you. Pero most of the medical students are really sleep deprived. Kaya physically draining siya. So do activities outside medical school. Some of my blockmates do baking. Some of my blockmates do art, do photography, do sing. So for me, my activities are volleyball. I do photography. I do poster design. And here in YouTube, I'm talking to you guys. Help you survive in medical school. Last but definitely not the least is don't forget to take care of your mental health. Mental health is really one of the biggest issue in medical school because maraming times na 
mafe-feel mo talaga yung anxiety and depression even though really don't recommend diagnosing yourself with depression and anxiety but sometimes hindi natin maiiwasan yung ganung feeling if you feel that you need help please do seek professional help and do ask your friends if may makakakilala sila because that will really help you survive in medical school and of course, take care of your mental health. Please avoid toxicity in medical school. Medical school is already toxic so as much as possible, iwas ka ng toxicity sa medical school. Tapos kapag napapagod ka na, just take a rest. So ayun, that's it for my 10 tips in how to survive your first year in medical school during pandemic or your during online class. And I hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to comment down below on what are your expectations for your first year of medical school, lalo na ngayong online and ngayong pandemic. So let's talk sa comment section and see you next time. Bye!